Okay, so you've created a spreadsheet, you've inputted some data, now you want to make it look good. Let's have a look at cell phones. Okay, so in your work or maybe in your study, you're probably looking at lots of spreadsheets with loads of data in. Now, this can get really boring. If you're anything like me, I've looked at many spreadsheets, I've even created some myself, well, quite a few myself, that don't look particularly good. Now, what do I mean by not looking particularly good? Well, a spreadsheet where there's no differentiation in how the cells are looking. Everything kind of looks the same. It looks boring and important information doesn't, doesn't stand out. So how can we do this better? One way is to use different font sizes and things like bold, italics and underline to highlight important information. Let's take a look at cell fonts. Okay, so this is what we're starting with. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with this spreadsheet, but it isn't particularly interesting and information doesn't stand out particularly well. For example, the title of the spreadsheet is in the same font that's using the same font size and the same font color as the rest of the spreadsheet, which means it doesn't stand out particularly well. So how can we use font size and color to make it more interesting and to make information stand out better? We're going to look at five things, font size, font color, and then creating underline, bold and italics. So first font size, to change the font size, we're going to click on the cell that we want to change and then go up to this box here, which is the font size box. Then we click and we can choose whichever size we want. I think in this case, 16 is going to work pretty well. So let's click 16. Now we can see the font size has changed. Now already this title is standing out much better because we've made it bigger than the rest of the information in the spreadsheet. Okay, so font color. To change the font color, again, we're going to click on the cell and then go to this icon here, which is the font color icon. Then we click and we can choose whichever color we like. Now try to choose a color that's relevant to your spreadsheet, to your company or your school, for example. I'm going to choose red because that's the Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions color. So I click there. Just by changing the font size and the font color, this title is standing out much better already. So that's font size and font color. Let's also look at underline bold and italics. I'm going to create an underline for this subtitle. I do that by clicking on the cell and then clicking the underline button here. Now we can see we've managed to underline that subtitle. You can also do that by clicking the cell and then using the keyboard shortcut, which for underline is control and U. So hold the control key down and then hit the U key. This toggles the underline on and off, as you can see. So that's underline. Let's also look at bold and let's create some bold headings for these columns here. So to do that, I'm going to click and hold the mouse button and drag across to select all the cells that I want to make bold and then go to the bold icon here and click it. Now we can see these fonts are now appearing in bold. And again, you can use the keyboard shortcut there, which is Control and B. So I'm holding down the Control key and hitting the B key. That's switching the bold on and off. Finally, let's have a look at italics. We can create these in the same way. So click and hold to select all the cells where you want to create the italics. And then just click on the italics icon up here. Now we can see these fonts are appearing in italics. OK, so we've used font size, font color, underline, bold and italics to make these fonts look much better. If we look where we started and where we ended up, I think this spreadsheet looks much more interesting and things are standing out much better. You'll notice that I've used some cell borders here. If you want to see how to create the cell borders, have a look at our cell borders video. OK, so I hope you were able to follow along with the video and I hope you found it helpful. Maybe you've been able to create some different fonts in Excel yourself. I'll be really interested to hear how you're doing. If you're watching on YouTube, then maybe you could leave 
a comment below this video or even subscribe to our channel. I'd be really grateful if you could do that. You can also catch up with us on Facebook and Twitter and on the screen now you'll see links to other videos in this cool Excel formatting series. I'd really encourage you to have a look at those. Until the next video, good luck with Excel.